You ever wonder how to use relaxation to throw tremendous power? Well, this is how you do it. In a lot of martial arts, they talk about using relaxed power, but often most people don't know how to do it. So what is relaxed power? Relaxed power is the ability to keep the muscles not tight so that I can throw kinetic energy through my body to its target. Most people when they fight are very stiff and very tight and they can't throw power because the energy just doesn't flow through their body properly. What happens is, is they use weight and mass just to kind of throw at that. And a lot of times that works if you're really big, but it doesn't work so good if you're small like me. Is soft power completely soft? The answer is no. If you turn into this guy, spaghetti guy, right, and you're so soft, there's no power on that either. Soft power is a funny thing. It's a mix between the hard and the soft. The trick is understanding how to use it. So there are parts of your body that have to maintain some amount of stability and some amount of tension for it to work. If you don't do that, you'll just collapse. But you don't want to use muscular tension. You want to use the ligaments and tendons to lock your body into position so that you can throw that energy without tensing your body up from contraction. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hitting somebody is a lot more like throwing a baseball than it is actually lifting a weight because you don't want to use those muscles. You want to use the ligaments and tendons. So if you watch a really good pitcher, what happens is if you look at this guy right here, see how the leg is out and extended this way? And what happens is also the foot is turned one o'clock. What I mean by one o'clock is the foot is not dead straight. It's turned a little bit that way. What happens when you turn that foot like in a San Chin stance in karate is that locks those ligaments and tendons in place. So that leg becomes stiff, not through muscular tension, but through ligaments and tendons. So what happens is, is this guy, when he pitches, he wants to throw energy from his back leg through his body and out through the ball. So you want it to go like this. On a straight line. By creating tension in that leg, when that energy comes through like this and goes to go this way, it's kind of blocked off. It doesn't allow it to trickle out and leak, so it all goes out through his hand. If you take the second guy here, if you'll notice, this foot is bent backwards and in. The foot's this way, and the knee is bending forward like this. What's happening is when he goes to throw, that leg collapses. And even though some of the energy goes like this, because there's no tension in that leg because it's collapsing like a, like a bridge falling down, is that energy also leaks down to the bottom. So what you have is energy leak. So part of your energy is going out through your hand, part of your energy is going through the foot, and you don't get maximum power out through your hand. So what does that mean to us in martial arts? Well, ideally what you want in martial arts is you want that ability for all that energy to push through your body and whip out through your hand. And you need that relaxation through the whole body. But again, not like a baseball player, you need structure. If you don't have structure in your legs, the energy is just gonna collapse. So if I'm like this, and I go to punch and my leg goes like this and gives, that energy is going in two directions. It goes down and it goes this way and I'm losing all the power out of my hand. If you see more of a traditional style where they do side chin stand, where they stand pigeon toed, when I go to throw this, what happens is, is this structure here does not collapse and it allows me to throw energy out through my body, out through my hand, but still maintain that support. But again, it's tension because the ligaments are like this. So I go like this, it tenses here, here, and here, like on my leg, and it doesn't require tension here and here. That's how you maintain structure and relaxation at the same time for maximum effort. So how does it apply? When you practice, you should study this, whether you're doing forms or on the bag or whatever you're doing, you should always be looking for spots where you feel muscular tension. If you feel like you're tensing, you're not creating the power you should have. If you just put a little tension in certain parts of the body for structure, when you hit, you hit a lot harder because all that energy through the relaxed parts of your body will come out through where you want to hit and into your target. This has been Bill Cohen for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.